All right, you guys, gather around the campfire. Because back in my day, when it came to video game announcements, they didn't announce them like five, six years in advance. They didn't give you a teaser trailer and was like, yeah, we're working on this eventually. Nowadays, I feel like Bethesda especially, they announced Elder, Elder, Elden Scrolls 6 like seven years ago, and it probably still hasn't even gone into development. But we're going to take a look. There's a list from Kotaku, everybody's favorite website. It's the TMZ of video games talking about eight games that were supposed to come out this year but got delayed. So let's get into it, you guys. All right. So first one's first. This is a game I am not going to lie. I haven't even heard about. And that's called Replaced. Um, players have been uh, oogling over Replaced since 2021 E3 debut. Let me tell you, this game got <laughs> revealed at E3. We had an E3 in like two years. Anyways, several uh, delays later, they're still waiting to get their hands on the sci-fi adventure about an outlawed AI hiding in a human's body, which sounds like a really cool concept. I'm not going to lie. And especially if it's like this, this drab, like, you know, cyberpunkish two 2.5D style. It looks pretty good. We'll keep it short. Replace was, <laughs> will not be released in twenty uh, release in 2025. The development team recently announced our initial release date was optimistic, and we apologize for that. Developing Replace is a unique challenge, and we're proud to create something special. Um, and you know, I personally, I don't mind if games are being delayed because. It's a passion project. It's something that somebody's been putting their heart and soul into, and they're going to release a good game, right? I, I'm tired of publishers going and hurrying the developers, pushing games out, and, you know, it's, it's just dog shit. Like, it really is. And not just that, but back in the day, like 20, 25 years ago, if you released a bad game, that game was bad forever, Thank you, uh, Superman 1999. But I'm just saying, like, it was bad forever. You couldn't patch it. Where nowadays, a good example would be, you know, uh, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk had all kinds of issues, all kinds of problems, and they were able to patch, 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 patch it until it was a good game. Next game on this ga uh, list is Avowed. So I've heard about Avowed uh, a couple times. It's been uh, announced... Um, for you know a couple years now um we haven't heard uh we haven't had a new elden scrolls in quite some time and it's been many years uh more until we get the next one avowed isn't a skyrim killer but it's the first person fantasy rpg with emphasis on combat dialogue, dialogue trees and navigational uh rival factions navigating rival factions so many uh so many games coming microsoft tweeted on august 2nd suggesting that the game would be to de uh delayed to give it a better chance of finding an audience as such, we're moving about to February 18, 2025 to give players a back, uh, players backlog some breathing room. It sounds like it's not ready. And I'm really hoping that this, this is actually one I'm kind of excited about because I, I do like to play RPG games when I'm not on stream. Um, I know a lot of people talk about Red Dead Redemption, but like, you know, I need to give Baldur's Gate and give that one a try. Um, but... If they're pushing it to next year, especially the beginning of next year, I think they did that because they have very little faith in this actually selling during, you know, the holiday season. Um, so this could potentially be a really bad game. Terminator Survivors. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I didn't even know this game was coming out. It sounded cool when I, like, really looked into it. But they announced that Terminator Survivors back in 2022. We're in 2024. So it's been two years. Which, I mean, isn't egregious, like Elden, Scroll, El uh, Elden Ring's Skyrim, Soul, Skull 6, whatever you want to call it. Saying it would focus on an original story prior to John Connor's resistance going to war with Skynet. Early access was slated for this year, but no longer. We are working hard to bring a post-apocalyptic world of Terminator to life. Which, this could potentially be an amazing, amazing game. Like, you know, in the world of Terminator. Now, don't get me wrong... Some of the Terminator films aren't the greatest, but 
at the same token, they got probably one of the greatest like sci-fi action movies ever with Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Um, but, you know, what's funny is the bad always outweighs the good, no matter what you say. Because you, you, you have so many bad Terminator games out there. A good Terminator game would be a breath of fresh air. It'd be really nice to see. Um, but the company wrote that they were delaying it on August 12th. Our goal is to create a deep, immersive experience where each decision you make is crucial and you're surviving. Um, if I had a dollar for every time I heard a company say that, especially when it comes to a game that they're pouring a lot of work into, I'd have a million dollars. Next one, Little Nightmare 3. Now, Little Nightmare is one of those games I've heard a lot about. Uh, it's like a puzzle, survival, horror, 2.5D. Um, I've seen a lot of commercials for like Little Nightmare 2 and Little Nightmare 1. Something I didn't know is that this is actually done by Supermassive Games and Bandai Namco Europe. So if you guys don't know, Supermassive Games are the guys behind like um, the Dark Picture Anthology, the Quarry. Um, what's the one it's coming out later this year. They're remaking it. Anyways, it's a PlayStation exclusive. Highly recommend their games. Their horror games, especially like their decision-making tree games are really well done. Um, so I, I might have to check out the little nightmare series. Next one, Transformers reactive. Um, another game award announcement, Transformers Reactive debuted with the trailer in late 2022. So we're coming up on two years announced. A closed beta for 2023, which was delayed until 2024. But there's still no official word on the game, uh, where the game is, or what's going on with it. Back in uh, May, Hasbro manager said he hoped to have more to share on the mysterious release in 2025. It sounds like they don't know when this game is coming out, especially if... You got, you know, a homie back in May being like, you know what? I might have some more information next year. So this, this is, you know, one of those things that is very worrisome because if you look here, Splash Damage, the studio working on the game has been facing financial struggles this year. And I mean, I, it's not just Splash Damage, it's the entire gaming market because a lot of people went back to work and this is just nothing more than a correction from 2020 the next one the division resurgence um i wouldn't be surprised if this game actually gets canceled and i say that because this is ubisoft's mobile revolution has stalled it's a mobile game for the division the french publisher promises lots of spin-offs of its biggest franchises for portable touch screens that haven't panned out the division resurgence is one of them the third person free-to-play shooter was recently Pushed from 2024 to March 2025, Rainbow Six Mobile uh, was pushed out of this year as well. At least it's better than getting outright canceled. And the reason why I wouldn't be surprised if Division Resurgence gets canceled, the Division Homeland, the next free-to-play uh, you know, games as a service for this franchise was already canceled this year. I played a closed beta for it last year, and I thought that that, you know, Division of Homeland would have actually made it to the light of day. And it never did. It never did. It, it just, it kind of fizzled out and they just, whoop, on to the next one. So I would not personally be surprised if they end up canning the Division Resurgence. I'm just saying. And, I mean, why, why even have a Rainbow Six mobile? Like, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to be Call of Duty? Come on, Ubisoft. They're just trying to milk that cash cow. Come on, baby. Uh, this one I have never heard of. Um, was it Nivils? Nevils? Um, but basically, it's just like a chillax, you know, cyberpunk, uh, interacting, social interactions, and covering routines of Animal Crossing. Um, it says it won't make the 2024 cutoff and look for it spring of 2025. Uh, our city has taken on a life of its own, growing and evolving in ways we are eager to share with you guys, ensuring that Nivilus. Provides the best possible experience is our priority. I'll take it. At least it's them talking about, you know, trying to polish it and get it to a place where you can play it. Um, and like I said, is it probably announced too soon? More than likely. Because <laughs> it was announced in 2020. We're four years removed. Sometimes I wonder if companies announce big games like this they have working. 
Is it because they're looking to get backing by other companies or potentially getting a big time publisher if they are an indie game developer? Um, this next one, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. If you haven't played Kingdom Come Deliverance 1, I've heard nothing but glowing reviews. I haven't played it, but I heard it's a shit ton of fun. I mean, I got it on the PC. I just, just haven't played it. Um, but it says Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 got a surprise reveal earlier this year with the developer promising bigger and bolder approaches to the previous games, medieval RPG sim elements that embrace realism over fantasy. The game was slated to arrive later in 2024, but developer Warhorse is now backing off that uh, that plan. A message from Warhorse Studios read on August 15 announcement that the official release of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 is now 11th of February 2025. You know what? Warhorse, this is something I can get behind. Because they're kind of taking responsibility. Yo, our bad. But they announced it at the beginning of this year, which is 2024. And it's coming out in 2025, February. So, basically a year. Like, they announced it and it's coming out within a year. Like, I, dude, I'm not even mad. That's not that bad. Like I said, it was like 2018 when, you know, freaking Elden Scrolls 6 was announced. And we still haven't seen anything about it other than that, uh, Nova King, Nova King, and like them sweeping through a valley saying Elden Scrolls 6 coming soon. It doesn't make sense. Let's go full screen. <laughs> but, you guys, those are eight games that got delayed till next year. Some of these I have heard of. Some of them I have not. Some of them I am looking forward to. Other ones, meh. You know, it is what it is. I don't care. Anyways, you guys, have a great, wonderful day. Don't forget to mash that like button, subscribe, and comment down below. Which one of these games are you excited for? That's the real question. Y'all take it easy. Have a great, wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.